Now this is Solar PVTV from Intersolar Middle East 2016. And now we are with uh, Cornelius, uh, one of the guys, I would say the guys here in the MENA region. Uh, one of the first people who was working uh, for Desert Tech Initiative. And now uh, he's running, he's involved in two projects. Hello Cornelius. Hello Thomas. So Cornelius, which actually are the companies and uh, projects that you are involved now? Uh, well, after coming to Dubai in uh, 2013, uh, setting up the regional headquarter for building energy and uh, being awarded a few uh, large projects such as two 50 megawatt projects in Egypt, I decided to set up my own business recently. So um, one, I would like to continue to work in utility scale solar. So um, I'm one of the founding partners of a private equity fund based in Dubai, working in the MENA region, specifically on the market segment with private off-takers. So government procurement programs top down, um, they are very successful. Uh, we are coming from power point to power plant, many projects happening, but at very low prices. So what we would like to do, we would like to support the market segment um, of, uh, let's say, mid-scale, 1 to 10 megawatts, uh, with private off-takers. Uh, in the whole region, uh, this is uh, one activity. Secondly, I recently decided uh, to uh, get involved in an off-grid solar company in Kenya. Uh, it's it's going to be quite interesting, yeah? <laughs> yeah, well, and uh, I'm uh, happy to talk about this a little bit more in detail, because uh, utility scale is not really the way for sub-Saharan Africa, in my opinion, so the market opportunity for Sub-Saharan Africa is really on the distributed, on the off-grid, uh, and uh, how you can reach um, the largest percentage of the population where there is no grid. So this is like, uh, let's say, was uh, with the mobile phones, yeah? Exactly. So mobile phone was a revolution. If you look at Safaricom in uh, Kenya, company where my fiancé is working, actually as expat uh, for the last uh, three years, the company was founded in 2000 and provided access to large parts of the population. Now in Kenya, in only 15 years, 88% of people have a mobile phone. Most of them didn't even have a landline in their life. So they leapfrogged this whole development. And not only it enabled people to communicate, but um, everybody is using now the mobile phone to pay, for example, and to send from one to the other via M-Pesa, the electronic platform. And this is exactly the opportunity to deploy off-grid, pay-as-you-go solar. So uh, sorry for interrupting, but I think that I heard an interview with uh, one of the uh, key decision makers in Nigeria. And he was mentioning that uh, already in Nigeria, 90% of people are using mobile phones, but only 50% have access to electricity. Yeah? Exactly. Uh, it's almost like a little bit of a paradox, but let's be realistic. Um, due to the high costs and the huge uh, uh, surface of most of African countries, uh, large uh, parts of the communities they will never have any high voltage grid. Mini grid for sure, that's uh, one opportunity to develop uh, rural communities uh, with uh, mini grids. Yeah. So the beauty from uh, Pavami, the new company uh, we set up in Kenya, is actually that you can immediately help uh, households who don't have access to electricity. So you have uh, a time to market of one day. You can reach any household in Kenya. And we have one outlet in Kisumu, one outlet in Nakuru, and we are strongly expanding. Uh, over the country, so you can immediately reach all these households and you connect uh, people. Uh, you ha we have a small little panel um, on the roof, a 10 watt panel. We have uh, uh, ultra fission 1 watt LED lights uh, and a small little radio and a torch. And this all uh, is charged in a few hours. And then you uh, pay with your mobile phone. You can pay on a daily, on a weekly, on a monthly basis. You have a very small upfront deposit, so this is obviously a hurdle. And then after 18 or 24 months, uh, this is our panel plans, you own the system. And you can really make a strong impact and completely change uh, people's lives. And you see it with the smiles on the faces. And also it's quite interesting, yeah? because uh, people, they are already used to this uh, kind of prepaid uh, service, yeah? because uh, they are uh, accustomed already with their mobile phones. Yeah? Exactly. Well, um, a simple uh, calculation. Um, so people have mobile phones, so they have costs for charging. Charging is around 10 cents per day, only charging. Uh, kerosene lamps um, is uh, also a significant cost. 
and uh, the daily cost of using the whole system with ultra efficient LED lights, uh, with the torch, with the radio and with the charging is only 40 cents. So they can even invite other people to charge the phones and make business out of it. It's an amazing, it's really a win-win opportunity. And who is financing the, this kind of products? So um, on a corporate level, we are seeking um, uh, grants uh, via development banks uh, with uh, scalar programs. So we are still a startup company. Uh, we are just uh, growing. Actually, we are 40 people now approximately, but we are hiring on a daily basis. And uh, it is a very capital intensive business. So we had a first successful financing round. So seed financing was uh, completed, it's oversubscribed. And uh, now we have uh, six to nine months, I would say, until the Series A financing round. But uh, in parallel, we are preparing and we already established uh, contacts with uh, impact investors, uh, venture capitalists. We have some prominent angels from the industry uh, in our investor base and uh, we are helping together to establish uh, the right contacts, as I mentioned, with development banks to get uh, also uh, debt financing and we also initiated uh, talks with local banks uh, for debt financing. So this is obviously key because it's a very capital intensive business as we are financing the systems, giving them out uh, to clients and then they're only paid back uh, over time. So it is like a leasing model. So you are like a solar city for Africa. Yeah, solar city for Africa on a small scale, I would say. <laughs> on a yes. very small scale. And um, uh, Cornelius, so actually you are a startup, yes, but already you have, uh, let's say, uh, you enlightened uh, quite a lot of families. Yes? So could you tell us uh, how many families already you enlightened with this solution? Well, we have uh, the first 5,000 kids on our uh, court now. Our headquarter looks a little bit like, uh, like a valley startup. You know, it's a, a young, dynamic team. We are all actually uh, living and working in, in this villa. Uh, it's just a beautiful atmosphere. Like a family business. It is like a family business and uh, we call it actually uh, the family. And uh, well, we've uh, started uh, um, just a month ago uh, sales and building up the sales team now, including the two new outlets. And uh, just in less than a month, uh, we've deployed uh, more than uh, the 100 first systems. Mm -hmm. So, and we are learning on a daily basis. What we would like to do a little bit different. So um, the market has a proven business model. So there is companies like Mcopa, like Bbox, like Delight, uh, uh, you name it. It's a proven business model. They have done extremely well. And um, so I think we should all work together uh, because the market is still a virgin. So, um, but it's good that, uh, you know, all different kind of these companies are now active. Um, we would like to do two things a little bit different. One, we would like to establish a very personal and interactive relationship with the clients from the very first day. Because investing in a long-term client relationship, this is, as we believe, really the main value we can also create for investors. And uh, so it is really about how sustainable the client relationship is and we want to make clients fans. Uh, this is uh, for sure. And secondly, we would like to innovate a little bit on the technology side. So step by step, uh, broadening the offer to things which are not only in the standard package uh, as of now. So there's numerous possibilities. You can uh, incorporate Wi-Fi in your system. You can uh, provide other electronic appliances. There's actually a number of things we are currently looking at and we are in the process of uh, developing um, our private uh, proprietary technology. Another thing which is important is made in Kenya. We are actually the only system which is really assembled in Kenya. So we can even create additional jobs, not only in our team. Not on in the sales, field. but also in the production. Exactly. So that's what we want to do and uh, we want to make it a very sustainable, a very long-term model. So you are, let's say, like uh, one of the uh, people who are helping to introduce uh, the solar disruption in Africa, yes? Absolutely. I think it's uh, an amazing opportunity and uh, it uh, can, uh, from today to tomorrow, really improve people's lives. 
it uh, disrupts uh, the whole uh, energy system, of course, because uh, all these uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, households um, having systems of similar kind already, they will not uh, require uh, utilities uh, uh, in the future anymore. So what we are actually doing, we are creating a utility. A utility, a fully-fledged service utility, and we're even thinking about things this like... Is, this is, uh, this is uh, the solar disruption, actually, because when we speak with people, people who think in the standard way, they don't imagine even how many different business models, different opportunities arise, yeah? Absolutely. And, you know, you're learning every day on uh, what the client uh, wants to have, and we're trying to build up this really close relationship, as I mentioned. The market is evolving at an amazing speed. Uh, uh, storage costs coming down, new business model evolving. And I think it's the same in our market. So I think we need to be extremely uh, flexible, innovative and open. And I have no doubt that uh, this will really be another revolution. And we are seeing it actually day to day on the ground. So we, we are very uh, happy to be part of this development and to help the market uh, really to uh, to work on this revolution and uh, to disrupt uh, completely the the energy um, uh, se sector in sub-Saharan Africa. And, and what is what is interesting actually, and what is the most awesome, that uh, these people in these countries they are already. Uh, let's say accustomed to the disruption eh? because they, they were following the telecommunication disruption. Eh? So for them it's not something new actually. Eh? Exactly. So if you look at Safaricom, uh, we mentioned it, the National Telco Op Company of Kenya. Uh, from uh, no phone connection to mobile phone, 88% penetration. It's a $7 billion market cap company by far the most valuable company of East Africa. Uh, and this in 15 years, it's an amazing success story. And this is happening now in the energy sector. And uh, the two sectors of Kenya, everybody is looking at is energy and agriculture. So we are all, all also looking at agriculture, for example. And uh, I think there's so many and unlimited uh, opportunities really to to make an impact and uh, really change uh, people's life in a very positive manner. And, uh, thank you so much and that was Solar PVTV together with Cornelius, Solar Disruptor from Africa. Thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you very much Thomas.